Look at these astronomical rain totals. This is going to be devastating flooding, I think, in Houston, uh, down toward Galveston, uh, all the way down toward areas around and just north of Corpus Christi. And the radar shows widespread areas with flooding. There's a massive flash flood warning in effect from east of Victoria, Texas, uh, to the edge of the Houston metro area. And then east of there, we have some powerful thunderstorms bringing an occasional tornado threat to the Houston metro area. The so have a look at some of the flooding that's already been going on in Houston. Okay, so yeah, this is what's already happened. And I'm telling you guys, this thing has just started. It's only going to get worse over the next couple of days. But here's the problem. Look at this number. It's only moving at two miles an hour. And this is going to be the big, big story over the next couple of days. You know, the worst is yet to come for a lot of people. This is going to be a humongous flooding event. The thing that's not going to lose strength is the amount of rain that the storm is dropping. We've already had some significant flooding issues in Houston, and uh, we've only just begun. By the time we get to uh, next weekend, which is what I believe this model is taken out through, we're going to have some spots that will be pushing 30, if not 35 or more inches of rain. Devastating flooding is ahead for a lot of people. There is a tornado watch on the northeast side of Hurricane Harvey. It includes Houston, Galveston, uh, all the way down to Port Lavaca and everywhere in between. Watch as the roof of this building gets destroyed by powerful Category 4 Hurricane Harvey on Friday night. Uh, this happened around the time of landfall. Well, here's the good news. It's main event time. Weather is weird, that is perfectly clear. Does it feel like the weather has just been really weird this year? Oh, so you gotta start watching things uh, very carefully. Stay cool. And you have to stay cool, right? We are going from cool to downright hot. This is a Thor News presentation. Are you cool? Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Thor News presents. Okay, so those were the latest reports. And I got to ask you, party people, do you really want to deal with that? You know what I'm saying? Like tornadoes, power outages, heavy flooding. If you were in the areas that these people are talking about, you've probably got about another 12 hours or so to leave, to evacuate. Head north, which I would recommend, and I have been recommending. Like this, this is the latest. The reports you just saw were from this afternoon, and this report came from Alan Huffman that said the latest model that came out is still showing widespread 20 to 40 inches of rain in the next six days. And the rain is beginning at 7 a.m. today. And so, like here, it shows 43 inches along the coast. And it still has Houston included in the 30 to 40 inch range. So if like right now the people in Houston aren't getting a lot of rain because the main thunderstorm rain band is outside and then a lot of the rain is inside. But as the Weather Channel report showed, you have this band is projected to move westward and track over Houston for several hours. And I want to reiterate, this is a multi, multi-day event. So we're going to watch this real quick here. And trust me. I'm tired of talking about the storm. I've been talking about it since Tuesday, trying to warn people. But this, I still feel like I can save lives and I can help people make a decision on whether or not they're going to leave. I mean, I don't want to freak anybody out. But we're, what we're going to watch now is a multi-day projection track of what the storm is supposed to do. And so it's going to be basically stationary, just sitting there. So it, it's pretty much just going to sit and spin for days. So I'm just letting you know, again, and usually I like to take a lot of time editing my videos. Make them really great. I just don't feel like I have time because time is running out. And if you do choose to stay, my prayers are with you. And, you know, I hope this isn't anywhere near as bad as people are saying, but it's been pretty bad. So, you know, God bless everyone. And I love you guys and keep the faith. I'll, I'll stay on the story. Uh, we're not done with Harvey yet. People are certainly concerned about Harvey. The Joker chose me. So Harvey may get stuck. And if he does... Our meteorological science is not advanced enough to pinpoint a stationary rain event on a micro scale. You're looking at a tropical storm that's going to be sitting around for or moving slow for 24 to 48 hours. That's a problem. Fair enough. So we're very concerned about the possibility of a dangerous flood event in the making. Fair enough. Okay, everybody stay cool. Be cool. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace out. So here we go again. If it's happening.
Stay cool.